All right, welcome back. Let's begin episode 15. Last episode was really crazy. I was really hoping to persuade Shadowheart to not kill the Night Song, but we failed in that endeavor. And Shadowheart is now a Dark Justicier. We actually got to hear the Goddess of the Night herself, Shar, speaking to Shadowheart. And we're decked out with new gear with Shadowheart now. We have the full Dark Justicier set. Which looks really cool. I'm a little bit worried, though, that my character may end up clashing with Shadowheart. I mean, we're a neutral, good character. Generally fighting for good, and I think Shadowheart might be going off the deep ends now. But we're sticking with her for now. So let's go ahead and start this episode off by leaving the Shadowfell plane. And our next mission is to go kill Catherick Thorm. I also reached level 7, so we gotta level up here. Let's go ahead and level up, and then we'll take a long rest. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of good camp scenes to be had. Let's start with Gale. Level 7 should give us access to... Yes, level four spells for the first time ever. There's a lot of great spells in here. Some of these spells, such as Banishment, I think Shadowheart's going to get access to because she's a Trickery Domain Cleric. Otherwise, I would take Banishment. I remember I used my Banishment scroll a few episodes ago and it ended up failing. I was going to learn that spell through the scroll with Gale, but we don't have it anymore. So I think I'm going to take Blight here. It is a necrotic spell, which kind of fits my necromancy subclass. Plants are more susceptible to this spell. They roll with disadvantage and still take half of all the damage if they succeed the roll. 8 to 64 necrotic damage. I want to give Blight a try. Dimension Door is a really good spell, but I think Shadowheart is also going to get Dimension Door. And it would be nice to take a utility spell such as Gaseous Form. I don't really have anyone in my group that can slip through small cracks or anything like that. But at the same time... I feel like I have to try out Wall of Fire. This is not only a damage spell, but it's also a CC spell. We could divide a battlefield in half, which would be huge. I'm only going to have a few level 4 spell slots, but I feel like I have to take Wall of Fire. I don't have to, but I'm going to, just because I'm so curious to use it. So yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with Wall of Fire and Blight. Look at all these new spells. Resilient Sphere. Enclose a target in a sphere of shimmering force, reducing its movement speed by half. And then we also have Slow Time. Alter the time around up to six enemies to slow them. They won't get far. They can't do much. They're easier to hit. The Wisdom Save, though. Okay. Let's stick with that. You know, I have a feeling that the Night Song may have some relation to Shadowheart, and we're going to find out at the end of the game. That's what I was feeling about that scene, because the Night Song was trying to tell Shadow something before she died. Shadowheart's past is quite mysterious. We're kind of being led to believe that she may have served Saluna in the past. But that could have been like Shadowheart's sister or something. I, I don't know, even though she was an Azamar. Be interesting to find out. Okay, so for Cleric level 7, we don't have to do anything. We just get access to more spells. We get Banishment, Death Ward, which can be really good. Protect a creature from death. The next time damage would reduce it to 0 hit points, it remains conscious with 1 hit point. The uh, Half-Orc race also has a feature similar to that. Freedom of Movement. Snap an ally out of a stunned, difficult terrain. Can't slow them down, and they can't be magically paralyzed or restrained. And Guardian of Faith. Call forth a Divine Guardian that attacks nearby enemies. Every time it deals damage, the Guardian loses an equal amount of hit points. The Cleric is such a good class. So many good spells. That doesn't even require concentration. Then we also get Polymorph to transform into... Or to transform other creatures into harmless sheep. And Dimension Door, which is like a teleportation spell for two characters. And also note, I, it took me a long time to realize that Gale can use light armor because he's a human. 
And in early access, humans did not get light armor proficiency, but when the full game came out, all humans can now wear light armor. Now with that said, I think I'm going to keep wearing robes with Gale. There's two reasons. One, I don't want him wearing light armor. It just doesn't feel right to me. And two, some of the robes offer some magical properties that really suit a wizard that light armor won't offer. I might have a little bit lower of an AC, but we're going to keep wearing robes with Gale for now. Go ahead and level up Karlak. be pretty simple we get feral instinct you have honed your instincts to the utmost degree you gain a plus three bonus to initiative and can't be surprised awesome 75 hp and then wolf see what larian did with the ranger exceptional training your animal companion can dash disengage and help as a bonus action awesome I felt like the Beastmaster started off fairly weak until we got to level 6. And now it's getting more powerful every single level, so... Very happy with that. Being able to help up companions... Instead of having to use an action to throw a potion or use a spell slot to cast Healing Word. That could be pretty nice. I don't think I have to replace the spell. I think we're doing pretty good here. I'm either going to take Lesser Restoration, even though Shadowheart already has it. It wouldn't be bad to have my Frontliner having this available at all times to cure disease, poison, paralysis, or primus, or I'm going to take Fog Cloud. I think I'll go with Fog Cloud. I have plenty of spell slots with a ranger I haven't been using. We could start tossing Fog Cloud around. We can also use Fog Cloud defensively as well. And there we go. So let's go ahead and take a long rest, and then maybe try to find Raphael's demon or whatever his arch nemesis that he told us that he wants to wants us to kill. Let's go to camp first. Can't slow down. May the darkness protect you. Wow, look at that response right there, because I decided not to flirt with her earlier. I can't help but feel you and I might have missed a chance to connect, truly connect. You know what? Me and Shadowheart were really getting along really well. I've always been hesitant with her, though. And now she's become a dark justicier. So let's say this. Let's see what she has to say about it. Because now I do feel like I missed my chance with Shadowheart. For us to truly connect, because I'm not sure if I could you know, really be in a relationship with <laughs> with a Dark Justicier as a wood elf from the Misty Forest, part of the Emerald Enclave. So let's go ahead and say that. I think I know what you mean. There's an undeniable rapport, and yet we haven't made time for each other. Time alone. Easily remedied, if you like. I know a place. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, you know what? We do have feelings for Shadowheart. So I say we go for this. Our relationship in the future may be quite complicated, but let's live in the moment. I'd like that. Just lead the way. Not just yet. Let's choose our moment. Some quiet night, when the others are asleep and there's no distractions, I'll come for you. Wow, okay. Alright, I'm sweating a little bit right now. Let's talk to our animal friends. See how they're doing. Hello. You are not food. You are friend. You like it here, huh? Nice here. The caves smell like rotting meat. Goblin cat smells like goblins. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and pat the cub. Everybody in camp approved of that. Mm. Up Lazel. Ah, <laughs> mm. mm. uh, right. I guess one more time, cub. Oh no, we're good, okay. The dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. 
Whoa. What you got there, Scratch? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. Yeah, let's give him a quick pat. Good boy. Good boy, Scratch. You remind me of Fern. Maybe I'll have Fern come out and play with you. Okay, what's in the pouch? We received a bone. Cool, we can throw the bone. Go get it, boy. Okay. Never mind. Was that what was the pouch that you dropped? What oh, was the bone in the pouch? Okay. Shadow Heart's really done it now. She's crossed the line she can never uncross. Killing a restrained enemy. One who never did shit to you? That's just low. Even for a Sharon. A veritable angel chained and tortured for centuries. To think she was so close to freedom. Unfettered slaughter. No more and no less. I thought better of Shadowheart. That was my mistake. Damn, man. It's getting interesting dynamic between all of my companions. It was unsightly watching Shadowheart slay the daughter of Saluna. I didn't think she would sink so low. Even Lazel disapproves of what Shadow did. Darian doesn't care. So, Shah's chosen walks among us. Ha! <sighs> How lucky we are. Still, if this means we can take a shot at Ketrick, it may well be worth it. I met Raphael. I know you were looking for him. You did? God damn it. I wanted to be there. I wanted to make a deal. <sighs> All right. So, what did the old devil have to say? Oh, this is nice. Astarian's going to give us some info on Raphael's quest. He wants us to kill something. An Orthon. Uh, well, I do like killing. Perhaps if we help him, I can still salvage something from this. He would owe us after all. Yes. Yes, this might work. Now we just need to get on his good side. Hmm. I never asked. Are you Kazador's only spawn? Or are there others like you? <laughs> Kazador? Sired seven spawn. Me and my six brothers and sisters. He always insisted we were a family. Even when he was carving scars into our flesh. I was one of his first. Some of the others came years later. He was a monster to us all. But did take special pleasure in my pain. He said, my screams sounded sweetest. <laughs> and now that I'm gone, I, I don't know. I pity the other six. Wow. Sorry, I was getting a little uh, emotional there. Got a personal quest. Perhaps when we go to the city, if he's still in our party, I'm not sure if he will be. We may be helping out his brothers and sisters. Okay, let's talk to Gale. Then we're gonna go talk to Helsin. Maybe get Jahira in our group. Choice. To kill the child of one god at the behest of another. Shadowheart's loyalty plums darker depths than I anticipated. Let's hope the fruits of this cruel labor are to her advantage. And ours, of course. Okay. Mr. Helsin, we're coming, my friend. You know, I think I figured it out, too. I think the reason why there's so many 
different things that happen in this game. It's hard to tell. The reason why I didn't end up helping the tieflings according to the game, even though I did kill the goblins, I think when I peaked the mountain pass back in like episode six, I think that kind of triggered the game to think that I didn't help the tieflings and I went to the mountain pass. It's going to be interesting to see how that plays out when we see the tieflings, perhaps at Baldur's Gate or wherever they are, or maybe a lot of them are dead, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to find a way to RP that back into my story to where my character still wanted to help them, but it didn't work out or something like that. Yes? You have news? I discovered the source of Ketherick's invulnerability, a celestial called the Night Song. What? So all this time he has been leeching his life from an immortal? The man is more parasite than that thing in your head. Well done. Did you learn how we might untether Catherick from this uh, night song? Oh, so this is wrong. We already. Okay. Let's just say we're still investigating that. We did. Uh, Shadowheart killed her. And by all means, don't let me keep you. We can't end this until Ketherick can bleed. Okay. Alright, Withers. I'm done talking to you. Let's carry on. We are out of here. I guess I'm just keeping the crew. Wouldn't be. I wouldn't mind bringing Lazel back into the group, but... Oh, this is going to be exciting. I think we're going... We're either going to do Raphael's quest first, if I can figure it out. But I think we will be going to Moonrise at some point in this episode. Never know, though. Things take longer than you expect. Notice anything new? This hairstyle is closer to Lady Shah's own image. I did it to honor her. What do you think? Damn, Shadowheart's more brainwashed than Blazel was at the beginning. Oh, man. Let's see. My character is just... He doesn't know what to do right now because he feels like he loves Shadowheart, but he's gone too far. Still, he also wouldn't mind a nice little something on the side. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Okay. Um, You know, I do, I do actually love her hairstyle, so I, I love it, Shadow. Good. I did this for Lady Shah. For myself. But I had hoped you'd like it as well. Okay. Damn, dude. She looks crazy. I actually do really like that hairstyle. That heart's such a cool character. All the companions are cool. Okay. So. Raphael's quest. Raphael told us of a nemesis of his who lurks in the depths beneath the mausoleum. Evidently, we should try to deal with this old enemy. Okay, the Orthon. Beneath the mausoleum. So I guess... We have to go back in? Let me just search back in there. Let's see if there's a different... Way down. Maybe like a... Uh, staircase or something. And you gotta admit, the writing in this game, this might be some of the best writing. Bones everywhere. Someone's been engaging in dark rituals here. We've seen in the gaming industry in a very, very long time. Larian really, really stepped up their game from DOS too. Another diary of Cuthric Thorn. Forgetting evades me in this infinite darkness. Balthazar is my own source of the bear's comfort. The thought that, perhaps, she might be brought back to me. If oblivion can fail, what defense have we against death? None except its mastery. Balthazar's words have never felt more promising. But when Shara was talking to Shadowheart, making her a dark justice here, we also learned that Etheric Thorm failed Shar in the past and led some of Shar's armies to destruction. No time to rest. That's part of the reason why Shar wants to destroy Catherick, and then of course, our quest is also to destroy Catherick because we're trying to figure out this absolutist thing. <laughs> okay, temple map. 
Proving ground, something present there. Rats, why so many damnable rats? I'm missing something here. Let's see. Is that something? Hmm. Okay. Sometimes I'm really bad at finding things. Let's go back down into the gauntlet. I think we must have probably missed it while we were down there. Take a look at our map here. Off strip trial. But yeah, we didn't explore this area up here, so maybe we'll head up there first. And I think the quickest way there is probably just to go straight. Oh no, not this thing again. <laughs> That's the tomb. Okay. I love exploring dungeon like areas with torches out. Even if I don't even need the torch, it just looks so cool. Oh yeah, we gotta do our spells. I think we're good to go. I would like to raise some undead here, but everything is already undead. I can't use animate undead on the undead. Let's press on and see if we can find this orthon. God, it's a displacer beast. That is so cool. 85 HP. Evasion. Is it hostile? Not showing yellow or red. Don't mind if I do. Oh, it's showing yellow. Okay. What to do? Is that blood? No, never mind. Okay. What are you doing, Shadow? Come on. Oh, you know what I have to do? I have to prepare my new spells. We picked up level 4 spells. Let's try out Guardian of Faith. Genuinely curious about that spell. We'll get rid of Silence. Maybe I should also prepare Shield of Faith. Because my half plate armor works with that spell. And again, Bless is really, really good. Okay, we'll do Shield of Faith and Bless. How about that? And then for Gale... If we are actually coming up to the Orthon part, Orthons are devils. I'm not sure how much fire is going to do if we end up fighting this thing. Well, let's go ahead and take Blight, and I'll try Wall of Fire in a future encounter. Get rid of Knock. And prepare that outside of combat. Haste, counter spell. Yeah, I like that a lot. Take Thunder Wave. Or Sleep. Now we can upcast Sleep. I'll take Sleep too. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can find this Displacer Beast. Okay, something's not right here, that's for sure. That's not good. Oh man, look at the goblin right here. Much 
blood. What the hell has been happening here? The displacer beast is just staring at us on a throne of bodies. Called the Orthon's Bed. We discovered signs of destruction throughout the temple. We can likely follow the trail of carnage to Raphael's old acquaintance. Okay. I probably maybe not walk up to this displacer beast with all my party members. Let's separate Gal and maybe Shadow too. I'll just do Gal. I wonder if I can get him on the high ground here. Oh, you're not, you're not strong enough to make that jump, Gal? I don't want to use a spell slot. A misty step. You know what I can do? Since I never end up using my potions anyways. Take a strength potion. See if that does it. Nice. Look at that throne right there. Oh my god. Oh, we got a chest over there too. Alright, we'll just leave Gael right there for now. <laughs> Probably also quick save. Entertainment, but you're too fresh for this place, aren't you? There's a whiff of the surface to you. Holy shit, an orphan. Powerful devils. I wouldn't get on their bad side without a good reason. You tiefling, you've got the stench of the hells about you, the stench of home, and a whiff of the surface besides. A servant of Zaria, if I'm not mistaken. I'd know the stench of her infernal machinery anywhere. What do you know of infernal machinery? Only what I can smell. And whatever engine burns within you is grinding to an inevitable explosion. Burning and fear. <laughs> you reek with it. There's something else, almost hidden by your fear stink. Cherries. Musk. He smells Raphael. And sulfur. Raphael! I can smell him all over you! Where is he? Wait. You know Raphael? That perfume trickster swindled me. Trapped me! He wants you dead. Where is he? No! Careful. I'm not sure we want Raphael as an enemy. I think I agree with Shadowheart in that. It looks like we may actually be able to help this guy, though. But yeah, having Raphael as an enemy? I don't know about that. And this guy seems to be trapped right now. I prefer to be on Raphael's side over this guy. But then again, we are in this guy's lair and he can just murder us. Let's see if we can play a game of words here. Wiggle our way out of this situation. And then maybe still kill him. Raphael could be anywhere. But let me go, I'll free you from his grasp. <laughs> Bargaining, are you? A Karator warlord once tried the same. I made him watch as I ate his concubines in young, then fashioned a codpiece from his skull. You can't help. It's not just walls that keep me here. Not the traps, the dark, or the creatures it hides. Something stronger holds me. A contract. Hmm. Either I fulfill the contract, die trying, or forfeit my freedom. If I leave this place now, I'll become Raphael's slave. 
wonder what Gal's doing right now. Whoa, 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 holy cow. Okay. Wow, look at this. That is crazy. 21 constitution. And he has a band of Maragons with him. Oh, wow. If this turns into combat, it's going to be a tough fight. These guys are resistant to physical damage. Take no damage from fire or poison. You know, it'd be funny is if I just thunder wave this dude right mid conversation. But I don't think a thunder wave would work with Gal. This guy would do a constitution saving throw and easily pass that. I go over here? I can. Okay, let's hide Gal over here for a minute. You're hardly free as it is, trapped here. Maybe you're better off indebted to Raphael. You wouldn't say that if you truly knew his mind. Just listen to the terms he gave me. Spill or the blood swung to the night. Silence or prayers smother each right. Wonder Shah's halls, hungry to slay. Leave no justice here. Alive to obey. No way. Leave none to hear it. Then be set free. This song is your oath. Swear, swear it to me. Well, that explains where all the dark justicias went. The final lyrics linger in your mind. There is a trick buried within them. A clause that cannot easily be fulfilled. That's it. Not surprised this guy stomped all those dark justicias. It's what Orthons do. Yeah, but why? Is Raphael having this Orthon kill Dark Justiciers and work against Shar? That's quite interesting to think about. Raphael wanted you to kill Dark Justiciers? Why? Asking why doesn't get me paid. Hunting and killing does. Raphael mentioned something about an Asima. Meant nothing to me. I did my part. I filled these halls with ghosts. But Raphael's playing some other game. One that involves stiffing me. Anyway, enough prattle. The lyrics are clear. All who hear the song must die. Time to die. Well, there goes that. We do have two persuasion checks here. The lyrics are a trick. You've always had an audience or followers. Get rid of them. It's Raphael you want, not me. I'll have both. If I wish. Well, the dialogue leaves me no choice. I think we're going to attack here. And maybe help Raphael out if we kill him and see where that brings us. He'll be indebted to us. Not sure if that was the right decision, though. Oh my god, are you kidding me? How are you going to start me off with a critical hit? Damn. I have half HP right now of my Ranger. Ooh, we have the Polymorph spell too. The Wisdom save. Wisdom 12. What is the Orthon's Wisdom? That would be hilarious. Wisdom 15? You got to be kidding me. 16% chance of succeeding. All right, let's go ahead and, you know what? Let's start off with Bless. We'll do Bless level two. No, we don't need level one. And then Spiritual Weapon. Maybe we'll put that up on these guys up here if possible. 
Hopefully it pulls aggro a little bit and then try to get Shadowheart somewhere where she's not going to lose her bless. Maybe over here? Let's give it a try. Still got Gale up top here. We'll hold off on bringing him into the fight just yet. Okay. Parlax turn. Well, I guess we should probably just kill this beast in front of us first. These guys have the high ground though. I'm very nervous about that. I could get... Oh my god. Oh, I thought I could. I could get up there. I could shove half of them off. If I know Displacer Beast, though, we probably want to uh, take this one out as fast as possible. Shadowy tendrils lash around you. Okay, not the worst start ever. But not the best. What is up with these critical hits? You gotta be kidding me. Oh no. They're putting out their light sources up. It might be time to call Galen. Don't let anything get past you. Oh, what the hell was that? What was that? Hand bomb. That's not good. That's not good at all. I think I'm going... I'm going to lose a party member on the first round of combat here. Damn it, why are they looking this way too? Which one's looking this way? You got a freaking stupid Maragon right there. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, look at that. That would be awesome. Goaded half the battlefield. These guys are awfully grouped up right now. I'm wondering if it's time to bring Gal in now. Oh, so much for peace. It's right. Sixty percent, damn. It's not good enough. Okay. Oh my god, I could do... holy crap. We could do... A Cloud of Daggers? Oh, I didn't prepare Shatter? Damn it. These guys are resistant to... Slashing damage, too be half damage with man this guy is really screwing me up right here shatter would be just amazing right now i think i have to pull a distraction though we gotta do something trying to get five of a minute Maybe that wasn't work it, worth it. Back him up. Maybe it was, I don't know. Yeah, they really didn't take much damage. I kind of regret that now. Couldn't help myself though. I saw an AoE opportunity. I don't really have an AoE spell. I didn't prepare Shatter. Probably hit F5 right now too. This doesn't look like it's going too good. Dude, taking unbelievable damage. And there's the Displacer Beast. Uh oh, Shadowheart's got something going around here. 
I've got these bombs at her feet. I don't know what to do. Can I pick one of those things up? I'm, I don't know what's going to happen if I... Oh my god, you can throw them. I'm picking one up. Oh my god. I don't, I don't think that was too smart. Do I have one in my inventory now? Orthonic hand bomb. Wow, it does 48 force and also fire. Let's see if we can throw that. Holy crap. The only problem is Wolf is right there because the Displacer Beast did that stupid attack. Man, I can't even, I can't get it off without hitting my own character. The huge radius. Or can I? Hold on. Nope, path is interrupted. Nope, it's either... You know what? My character's gonna die anyways. Nothing wrong with a little teammate sacrifice. Let's see if it was worth it. Yeah, a lot of those guys just took a ton of damage. Holy crap. Alright, we got a Maragon down here with me. I want to go get another one of those bombs. Not worth attacking the second Displacer Beast. We've got to kill the first one. And it's right there. Seriously want one of those bombs. You know what? Well, that was now that oh, there's two of them in front of me. Damn it. I might just take the opportunity attack here. Ah, oh, damn it. Stupid Maragon. Screw it. That was a great attack right there. Is anybody gonna attack my wizard? Oh shit, 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 shit. We're going down. Oh no. Got more of those bombs. A lot of daggers actually not doing too bad. Okay, Wolf has officially died. <laughs> nice. But I could get him back up. If I move up here. Oh, the radius on it's not that good. I don't know if I want to go that close yet. Fifty-five percent chance for landing blight. It would be so epic if I was able to land it. It could kill that displacer beast in one spell. Question is, do I try it? You know what? You only live once. Let's go. He's going to move up and cast it. Let's see what this is all about. 24 HP. Saved. Damn, it made the save. Okay. All right. I might have to... I might have to use this to go backwards. I'm going to. Ooh. This displacer piece needs to die. Okay, we got Shadow Heart again. Let's pick up one of those. Yeah, let's pick it up. I wonder if I can pick them all up. 
Shit. I don't know if I want to hold them in my inventory, though. Then let's move over here. Let's throw another one. Throw it right. Looks like I can only get two of them. That one wasn't too good. Okay. Still don't know where the freaking Orthon is. He's invisible right now. Okay, and let's try to... Oh. Oh, uh, really? I'm not... Damn it, I moved into opportunity attack range. That's okay. is interrupted honestly I might just take the opportunity to attack I think it's worth it <laughs> of course it's a critical hit you gotta be kidding me this freaking displacer beast just won't die man Oh, I should have picked up two. What do you mean immune? Oh, the torch is immune to fire damage. This thing's still alive. That's crazy. A lot of daggers really worked out. I keep forgetting we still have to fight the boss. Crap, they're going after Gale now. Not today, my Maragon friend. Yeah, walk right back into that cloud of daggers. Could pull off a res here, but... Let's go ahead and do a magic missile. I have the range. Let's do a magic missile level 2. You do two on this guy. Maybe three. Two on this guy to make sure he dies. And then three on the Displacer Beast. And I'm going to save my spell slot. Hopefully this guy doesn't come at me. Let me throw the bomb. Oh, hold on, let's try this. What the heck? Where's the boss guy? Yeah, Wolf's body is definitely charred up right now. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do Shield of Faith. Fight, Scotty, stay 
Oh, he's over on this side. That's why. All right, Mr. Gale, I think you can now probably come over here as long as the Orthon doesn't attack you. And let's go ahead and resurrect Wolf. I should keep him away from the Orthon. Let's see if I can put him in a spot where he's not going to get shot right away. Maybe directly behind the rock. Put him over here. At hand. And then back up a little bit. Damn, that is so much damage. There's no more for me to pick up, though. Alright, let's do... Let's see what this is all about now. Guardian of Faith. And we'll put it right on top of... Our buddy. I mean, not enough space. How big is this damn thing? Whoa, that's so cool. 60 HP? Holy crap. Dude, this game is so cool. I can also do spiritual weapon too. Let's do it. Guardian of Faith is not concentration, nor a spiritual weapon. Clerics are OP. Alright, we're gonna put Karlak, I think, on the boss now. Don't know where he's at, so let's see if we can do a cleave. Oh my god, and we had Executioner too. This guy's resistant though. All right, Wolf, I need you to drink some potions. I don't think I have any really good potions. I don't have any greater health potions, fortunately. We'll just drink a smaller one. And I'm going to stand back here. For the time being, just take a shot. I wonder if I can just shoot. Let me just shoot at that area. I don't know if this will work. I don't think it does. As long as I don't run into the cloud of daggers. I'm a little bit nervous about that. I can probably just get rid of that now, actually. There we go. Carlac's about to go down. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Not good, not good. Not good at all. We'll let Shadowheart pick her up, though. Baragon's got 45 HP. Man, a cloud of daggers right here would be so nice. Would hit the boss. Guardian's in the way, though. And Karlak. Alright, let's just do a magic missile. Or we could do a Scorching Ray. Oh, stupid me. That was... That was stupid anyways. They don't take fire damage. I don't know why I did that. Okay, we got Karlak up. Let's move up too. See if we can start helping out here. Come on. Dude, so low HP. Holy crap. I 
I need fairy fire right now. That's what I need. That guardian is awesome. It really is. Slowly but surely, getting that HP up. 45% chance, come on. This is, oh my god. Okay, this leaves me an opportunity now for Clouded Daggers. So we got 55 HP. Back up. Don't have enough. What an absolute champion right here, this Guardian. Honestly, I'm tempted to do Spirit Guardians, too. Okay, what's something that I can cast on this creature that will keep him from going invisible? That's what I'm worried about right now. It'd be funny if I knocked him off that ledge. We could do Glyph of Warding. There's still Curse. Ooh, disadvantage on constitution checks. We do bestow curse and then cast something else after that. All right, let's go with, let's do Glyph of Warding. This looks like it's going to hit my spirit guardians too. No, it's not. Oh, I didn't really think that one through. That actually didn't work out good. Crap. Honestly, it might not be a bad idea to move Karlak down here. Honestly, if he threw fire up there, man, you know, mirror image would be amazing right now. Scroll of Stinking Cloud, Scroll of Blight. I don't have an action right now, but... I don't know if it's worth taking a potion or if it's worth raging. Okay, we drank a potion. And I'm going to move underneath him. How about that? Spirit Guardian is gone. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're in a bit of a pickle here. Oh, boy. 1% chance to land Blight. <laughs> Old monster? 6%? You gotta be kidding me. Polymorph ain't gonna work either. 6%. This guy is a freaking tank, man. Protection from evil. Target creature can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. When creatures attack it, they have disadvantage. Actually, it might not be a bad idea. And we have Stink Cloud. A little bit worried that he is going to go invisible again. Okay, let's go ahead and go with... This is intense. I'm going to try this. Try protection from good and evil. And then back up a little Swift bit. As my feet can carry me. Hunter's Mark. The stupid Maragon right here. Don't kill Karlak. <gasps> Woo! Oh, you gotta be... No way! No way!
Yeah, I'll maybe my only chance at killing this guy. Gotta make sure I don't mess it up. Might cast protection from good and evil on him too, actually, to be honest with you. Okay, I think I'm okay with that. Okay, we still got one level three spell slot left. Spirit Guardians, Fear, Bestow Curse. Man, imagine putting this guy to sleep. That would be amazing. I don't have enough movement for this. I don't think he's immune to sleep, is he? Has advantage in saving throws against spells and other magical effects. I probably shouldn't be doing those spells. I wonder if sleep would work, though. Oh my god, my game just... Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Well, we'll be right back. So luckily I made that save point, and it only took me a few minutes to get back to a similar spot to where we left off before, before my game crashed. There was an update to the game, so that's probably why the crash occurred. Yeah, he's only got 33 HP right now. I didn't get a chance to res Wolf yet on this part, but that's okay. I think we're doing pretty good. Let's see if we can put him down. 55% chance? Or should I do Glyph of Warding? You know what, let's try it. Let's try a Guiding Bolt. What a shot! Okay, we just have one Maragon left. Probably should cancel Cloud of Daggers. Let's go kill him. Get right up in his face. Uh. Alright, Mr. Gale. 23 HP. Let's not risk it. Let's just do a magic missile. Torment. Definitely going to be resting after this fight. And the Spirit Guardian is an absolute MVP. I love that spell. Nice. And that's a wrap for killing the Orthon. Okay. That was a crazy, crazy battle. I'm sad that it crashed because the ending of that first part was really intense. Hellfire Hand Crossbow, 7 to 20 damage. Possibly inflict burning when hitting a creature with this weapon, while hiding or invisible. Wow. That would be a hell of an Astarion weapon right there. Dual wield hand crossbows and have one of these. Have one of them be this. And you get Scorching Ray. Wouldn't mind having Scorching Ray on my Ranger. My face protects me. We just give it to Gal, and then he can have Scorching Ray prepared at all times. But actually, I don't know if he's actually proficient. Hope we get fishing out a little bit here. Hold up. There we go. Yeah, he's not proficient with hand crossbows. Let's cook in. Well, actually, maybe I'll just keep it in my inventory for now. 
But no, never mind. Let's let's go ahead and use it. We'll use it on my character when he's not dead. I guess you can't equip a weapon when a character's dead. I guess that would also make sense. So. I'll go this way. Come here, wolf. Take you. There you go, buddy. Put on your new hand crossbow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Not that my character is going to be hidden or invisible that often. We'll keep it for a little while. I barely use the crossbow with him anyways. All right, let's pop a short rest. Better than nothing. Keep looting. And our quest... Ooh, Maragon Helbert. Our quest did update, too. Kill Raphael's old enemy. We slew the Orthon. I guess now we just wait until Raphael shows up again or something like that. That was a really fun fight. Interesting mechanics going on in it with the bombs. I'm not sure if I wouldn't would have been able to win that encounter. If I didn't start throwing some of those bombs to get that AoE damage. Ooh, yeah. Send that to Gale. And there we go. I'm so happy that I didn't pick up either of those spells. Is now we can learn them. Evard's black tentacles. Tentacles sprout from the ground, turning the area into difficult terrain, attacking and smothering creatures within. Smothering restrains enemies. They take 3 to 18 bludgeoning damage per turn. And attack rolls have advantage against them. Definitely want to learn gaseous form. You know, honestly, I should... Wow, scroll of telekinesis. Throw a creature or object up to 60 feet with a thought. Once per turn, you can use telekinesis again without expending a spell slot. That makes me think of Divinity Original Sin 2. But it's too high level of a spell, so we can't actually learn it yet, so I'm going to hang on to it until we reach whatever level telekinesis becomes available. And yeah, sure, I guess we'll learn this too. Nice. Got some new spells with Gale. I'm happy to have Gaseous Form. That'll bring us a little bit of utility use. I mean, you could use it in combat, too. Have to keep going. I'm thinking we might be able to get through some tiny areas that I haven't been able to yet with that spell. Okay, let's check out this room. And I think we're out of here. We're heading to Moonrise Towers. What the heck is that creature? I hope this chest isn't trapped. Boots of Brilliance. Restore Bardic Inspiration. Nice. If you have a bard in your group. That's amazing. Okay, I think we can teleport out of here. We've done the Gauntlet of Shar. We've also killed the Orthon, which will be an interesting progression to Raphael's story. Let's go ahead and teleport out to... Wow. Moonrise Towers. And I'll take a long rest. Get our spell slots back after all that craziness. I wonder if Raphael's going to show up tonight. You talk to Astarion though, because he's related to that quest. Some way, shape, or form. Need something. Nope, he has nothing to say about it. Starting to run low on camp supplies. I might actually have to start doing some looting. If I was playing on tactician, it would be I would be screwed right now. I 
I wonder if Raphael wanted me to meet him back at that one spot. There's one spot that's... Right near the mausoleum. And I found it. I'll just quickly check and make sure he doesn't show up here. Nope, I think we're good. Okay, that will wrap it up for part one of episode 15. And I think we're going into Moonrise Towers for part two. I'll see you all momentarily. All right, it's finally time to head into Moonrise Towers. I just used the fast travel point right outside of the bridge. And the team is ready to go. Let's go check it out. Should be able to walk right in here. We still have the Pixie's Blessing active. Uh oh. Disciple Zrel has mirror image active. Protected by the light of a moon lantern. It looks like we have a moon lantern on each side right here. What if I can shoot those out? We have some ghouls and also a priest. With Death Ward active. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. It really feels like a movie right now. Not sure if we're going to get a cutscene or or what. It looks like they're already hostile right now, so I wonder if I should take a shot. This is crazy. <laughs> Let me walk up just in case. I'll walk up with Wolf and Carlac. If there is a cutscene, I would love to see it. Can't give up now. Oh, that answers that. Damn. Okay, let's see what we want to do here. Do we want to do Spirit Guardians? Or are we going to do Bless? I'm thinking Spirit Guardians. Looks like we have a lot of enemies here. Let me move up with Carlac first. Get right up in their faces. Nice, we got an inspiration point. Thinking we should probably attack. I, I don't know. Depends on what type of spells these guys are casting. Move the wolf right up there to back Carlac up. Perfect. And then Shadow Heart. Hmm. Let's start off with Spirit Guardian, or Guardian of Faith. Just put it right here in the middle. And then Spiritual Weapon. Put it right behind... Put it behind this priestess right here. And then we'll do Spirit Guardians next turn. Move Gale up a little bit. Where's my zombies? Okay, they're back there. And this looks like a good time. Maybe for haste? Haste might be a nice way to start off, but since they're all grouped up, I think I'm going to do... Oh, I forgot to prepare Chatter again. I think I'm going to do Cloud of Daggers. Can't go wrong with that start. Then maybe back him up, too. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. I'm gonna go after her first. Do you have any resistances? I don't see any resistances. We could do a fire arrow. Don't want to hit the Guardian of Faith, though. Here 
we go. Nice. Such a good spell. And it's also so cool to watch, too. All right, Wolf, let's get you up there. Look, I can go right into the thick of the battle without even needing to dash. Wonder if I can stand right here without going in the Cloud of Daggers. I'm gonna move the Cloud of Daggers back a little bit. I'm gonna try it. These boots have seen everything. Hope to God I don't get hit. Okay. Oh, we don't have enough movement to take a... No, you gotta be kidding me. Maybe I had to reach with a cleave. I can. Let's do a cleave. Yeah, I can't reach with a regular weapon attack. Oh, man. Are you serious? All right. We're going to just have to take a shot. Disadvantage. I'll do that. <laughs> I forgot I still have my hand crossbow. Should be dual wielding those. God. That was a lot of damage to Karlak right there. Ah, uh, let's see. Should we do counter spell? To do it or not to do it? Yeah, we'll do it. Oh man, it didn't even work. Wonder if it was a it was a level four spell. What was that? Black hole? What did I just see? Create a point of intense gravity that pulls in all nearby enemies and possibly slows them. Five more black holes can be summoned after the spell's initial casting. This looks like an elithid tadpole power. Damn, man, that was crazy. Oops, sorry. That was really cool. All right, let's see, who's up, the zombies? Spiritual weapon. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, we'll get the... Oh man, I don't know if I want to go inside that circle right there with the zombies. Oh damn, going after my girl. Okay, you want to play that game? Watch this. Spirit Guardians. And I'm going to move right over here. Yes, yes, yes. Then we're going to move in. Oh, come on. Okay. See if we can knock this guy prone. Target's too far. Let's move up a little bit. Nope, we fouled that. All right, Karlak, let's see. Our priestess is over here. Let's go ahead and... Hmm. It's an opportunity attack to move over there. What is it, though? It's actually not showing it with Disciples Rel here. Okay, perfect. I don't fancy their chances. If I can do a little focus fire over here. 17. Do I want to save spell slots or not? That's the question. We'll just do a cantrip. Very nice. That was awesome. Yep, this guy apparently doesn't have his reaction. So let's go ahead and... Hmm. What if I can jump over there? I can. Oh, damn. Whoa. -ho -ho -ho. Will he do it again, though? You gotta be kidding me. Can't even jump over that radius right there. Oh man, that's tough. Okay. Took some serious damage. Well, I guess I have no choice. I mean, I could shoot, but with disadvantage, it's not worth it. Let me get rid of Cloud of Daggers. No gloom, all doom. I guess I'm just gonna attack this guy right here. Um, I'll hold off on Hunter's Mark. Actually, no, we can just do Hunter's Mark now. He's got Mirror Image active, so we're going to miss. 
I didn't have an action anyways. There we go. Finally got a counter spell to work. Come on. That's okay. Oh, wow. Particle effects are beautiful. Wow, this Guardian of Faith is really not letting me get in there. A great placement. Yeah, this, uh, this priestess is in, like, this little area that's keeping her somewhat safe with that guardian right there. And Karlak's gonna kill her, but... Dark One's Blessing. Wow. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with you, zombies. Oh, what? Get out of here! I'm outside of the circle! Okay, let me test it now. Let's see if I can actually get through. Okay, I can. <laughs> We'll move him all the way over here. See if we can finish off the priestess. You have Edge of Darkness, too. Shadow teleportation. Oh, it'd be cool if I could teleport right to over there. You know, being a servant of Shar is not too bad. Beckoning darkness. Curse a creature to be haunted by darkness. It takes 2 to 16 necrotic damage. If it enters or starts its turn in a lightly or heavily obscured area. That is so cool. That is so cool. Alright, let me back Shadow up a little bit. Let's see if we can get this kill. 6 damage. 45% chance with that. 65% with Sacred Flame. Let's do it. Beautiful. We'll back up even more. My spirit guardians is gone. I'm gonna save my spell slots. I think we're doing pretty good right now. Drink a potion. Oh, nice. Death ward already went off. Okay. All right, next up, let's focus on this. Do, 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 do. We got Malik and also Zrel. I think I'm gonna go after Zrel. Let me do a little saving throw boost. A little bit closer, Karlak, just a little bit. Oh, I think that works for the enemies too. I didn't think about that. Executioner. You still got mirror image. Do, 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 do. Probably should have done it. Of course. Confused me a little bit. All right. Do I try blight? Just end his life right now. Ten percent chance. Bam. The con save. All right, let's just do a firebolt. I like it. Okay, his mirror images are gone. Beautiful. A little bit worried about this guy. Oh, shit. Level four. Oh, he's doing fear on two targets. Um. Ah, oh, I don't want to use a level four spell slot. Crap. Get up there, zombie. Go ahead and bite this guy. Nice. Not nice. Okay, Wolf is feared right now. Look at him running. He also doesn't have his weapon, too. Can't remember what spell gets rid of fear, but I don't think I need to do that right now. Let's just go ahead and pick up Karlak and also try to kill this guy. 50 versus 55% chance. 
Here, awesome. Alright, Karlak is hurting right now. Don't think I need to use a rage right now. There's only one guy left. Rage would be half damage, but I don't have that much HP as it is. So I'm going to go ahead and back her up a little bit. This guy wants to come at Karlak. He's going to have to take some opportunity attacks. Let's just start working on this guy. Here we go. Nice. Okay, nice. We're not feared anymore. Let's go pick up my weapon. Time to press ahead. Okay, got my weapon back, but you need an action to equip it, I think. So, yeah. He's really gonna go after Karlak? Or is he going after Gal? Oh, man. Miss. Miss. <laughs> My wolf died a long time ago, didn't she? Okay, 16 HP. I think I'm going to do another Sacred Flame to save the spell slot. We're not even going to pick up Karlak. Don't think we need to. There's a parasite in that corpse, brimming with potent magic. Well, that was pretty fun. Okay, let's take a short rest and do some looting. This zombie's not going to last long, but that's okay. We'll call back in. Let's call in the bear this time. We'll do another short rest. Or I could just heal. Yeah, we'll do another short rest. Time to get going. Mind Flare Parasite. Nice. I have like 10 of those now. In Disciples Rel, Balthazar's Room Key. That should be interesting. Scroll of Shatter. Perfect. And axe plus one, another parasite specimen, and absolute's protector. When a foe hits you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction to knock it prone. And you get fire shield, chill. You gotta have the mark of the absolute though, I'm assuming. Yeah, if the wielder bears the absolute's brand, all damage received from spells is reduced by one. But actually, you might actually get the other benefits too. Not sure. We'll hang on to that. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit F5. I guess we're heading inside the tower. Pull out my torch because it looks cool. Instead of going in the front door, maybe we should see if there's any side entrances. This is so cool. You'll probably misty step over there. I don't think a jump is going to work. The jump spell might not even work. Go check out the other side. And you can't long rest in this red area right here.
this tower is gigantic, so we might have to come back out to take a long... Oh, what is that? Okay. Can I go somewhere up here? Well, that's interesting. It's like we also have a door down here as well. Not sure if all of my companions can make this jump. Might be coming up to the back door to Ketherick Thorm's room. Everybody made it over. Awesome. Even the zombies. Okay, let's see if we can see inside here. Nice. We have two locked doors here. Let's see. Oh yeah, we're getting close to Catherick right here by going up top. Definitely a few enemies in this room right here. Could try to lockpick. Sure, let's give it a try. Oh, I don't have any thieves tools right now. Okay. if I can get up here. Holy crap. Let's see if anybody else can follow. Carlac can. Everybody else is too low on strength. I mean, I could Misty step up. Let me let me scout ahead a little bit. With Wolf and Carlac. Oh wait, where do we go from here? Oh my god. What was that? I clicked on... I don't know what I clicked on. What are you doing right now, wolf? Alright, let's take it a little bit slower. Come over here. And jump to this ledge. There you go, buddy. Everybody... Oh my god. Okay, there you go. Hey. You guys all set now? Holy cow. Come on, let's go. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Okay. Wonder if I can take these guys on with just Gale and Carlac. Or uh, just Wolf and Carlac. I think I can. Maybe. 32 HP. I got an idea. Let's give it a try. Wanna dance? And then I can. It doesn't look like there's anything else up here. And then I can at least see. There's like a chest or something up here. If there's a back entrance. Oh, that's close. Wow. Go to turn base mode. Have to keep going. Don't burn yourself. Take Carlac and leave her right there. Flash. 
Actually, I think I want them to turn. Hold on, let me come back. We're doing this with two. We got to be careful. Waiting with bated breath. Wait until the cones turn the other way. See if there's an opportunity. I haven't equipped my sword yet. There we go. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Wow, I can get up and do a freaking melee attack. Holy crap. I can probably do it with both of my characters. They are. I just slashed one in the back and they realize I'm a true soul. So. Honestly, didn't know your kind could string a sentence together. The ones below are kept starving and stupid. But not I. I know where the real feast is. They drop corpses down into the tunnels and below the tower. Enough to feed an army of us. If the Absolute will not share her dead flesh, we will tear it from the backs of the living. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Hmm. We've used our powers a few times. We haven't consumed any tadpoles. But I think my character has come to the conclusion that he doesn't want to use his powers anymore. Let's try an intimidation check. I've never eaten ghoul before. For you, I might make an exception. 18 with no guidance. The shadow is not here. Oh my god, are you serious? Enough! I wish to taste true soul. Feed! Okay, well, at least we still got the combat advantage here. Really? Really? All right, let's sneak Karlak up. Oh, dang. They changed their vision cone. Nice. This is actually pretty cool. Wolf and Karlak went off on their own little infiltration mission. As long as these guys don't alert the entire camp, I think I'm going to be okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that was hilarious. Yeah, we're kicking ass right now. That was interesting. Go ahead and hit a five. Let's see what else we have here. Definitely appears to be a back entrance into the towers. You know, I could get my entire team up here, too. Oh, we got a vision cone right here. Whoa, 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 careful. That must be a little bit of a bug. That's a wall.
The movement speed can't be reduced by difficult terrain. Arcane cultivation. I keep forgetting that I have some of these. Nice, okay. Trying to see down into this room. There we go. Oh my god, it's Marcus! Holy crap! From the last light in, the one who took Isabel. 86 plus 40 temp HP, and he has great weapon master. What else can we do up here? Huh, okay. Looks like I can probably break this wall. Sturdy. Only 10 damage. I can do that easily. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to leave the area, take a long rest, and then come back with Shadow and Gale, because I'm going to use Dimension Door with Shadow Heart, which is a level 4. Or I could use a Hill Giant Potion with Shadow and then Misty Step with Gale. That might get me all the way up to the top. So we'll return back here in a few moments after I get my party here. Alright, I've taken a long rest, and I got my entire party up here. I had to use Misty Step with Gale, and then a Hill Giant Strength Potion with Shadow Heart, because I didn't want to use her level 4 spell slot. Let's go ahead and use Arcane Recovery. Get back a level 2 spell slot. And we're going to see if we can get through this door here. Be an interesting way to enter Moonrise Towers, that's for sure. My bear is still down here. I can't get the bear up. That's okay. We can summon another creature. We'll summon... Let's see. Let's summon the spider. I haven't had the spider in a while. Spider can also jump further, too. Alright, I'm going to send down Wolf. Or actually, Carlac. I'd love to, thanks. We're gonna see if we can do something with this wall. A little bit worried about that vision cone that is showing right here. With four damage. Oh, I can break this wall from a distance, actually. Put Carl oh damn it, hold on, I'll put Carlac right here. We did Gale. We'll shoot this wall with firebolt. Surprised it only has four HP. Actually I should bring down the rest of my party too. I wonder if we're gonna have to go down there or how that's gonna work out. I'm thinking we might want to I don't know. Alright, we'll wait until the time's right. I might have to use Featherfall. If we're actually jumping down there, there's no staircase or anything down. Alright, and Shadow, come on over here. Hide her and put her right there. I'm gonna move the spider separately, because I don't want to accidentally... I don't know if that's gonna do anything. But I'm not going to risk it. Under the gods are watching me. And then we'll take the spider. Dude, that spider is so creepy looking. Oh my god. Oh look, the vision cone changed. Oh, let's go into turn-based mode. Okay, here we go. I don't think there's any other way in around here. Probably hit F5. Wow. Marcus didn't notice. Oh, this is crazy. Marcus must be daydreaming about having a different job. I don't think there's any other way. I mean, maybe Minor Illusion? I don't have Minor Illusion, though. To distract him to look this way. And then, oh, we have a Scrying Eye right there, too. And then we could get the entire party down. 
in stealth. That would be crazy. The thing I'm worried about with Invoke Duplicity is I think it starts combat. Let me move up a little bit with Shadow. Target's too far. Hmm. I could, though. I got an idea. I got a great idea, I think. It might not be great. Oh, we're going to fall prone by going down there. Okay, let's, um... Let's prepare the right spells, first of all. I think I can start using Wall of Fire again. Light doesn't seem to work too good here, because everybody's uh, constitution is so high. Counterspell, Haste. We're going to take Shatter. Get rid of Ray of Sickness. Going to take Shatter. Man, Sleep can be so good, I just really haven't been using it that much. Featherfall. Fireball is tough when you're not an evocation wizard, but it can also be so, so good. Okay, I think we're good here. Maybe I could get rid of Thunder Wave. And instead take... Scorching Ray if I have a nice shot on an enemy. I keep forgetting I have Knock. I could have probably unlocked those doors back there with Gale. I wonder if that would have worked. You know what? Whatever. This is cooler anyways. Okay. Well, here we go. Featherfall lasts for 10 turns, I believe. Going to turn-based mode. This should be interesting. You only live once. Oh my god, are you serious right now? <gasps> this is crazy. Now, if I could actually get this spider into combat, you know what? I might be able to jump the entire team behind Marcus in turn-based mode and actually get into this room right here. There is a scrying eye, though. That's not Oh, man. <laughs> this, this place is crazy. This place is downright crazy. Maybe I just sacrificed the spider. Could come in here. Hold on. I can't believe that that actually just worked. I think I'm going to give it a try. This is, this is, this is crazy. This is actually crazy. Let's do it with my ranger first. Oh, wow. That's freaking right next to Marcus. Oh, I did have to do a hide check. Holy cow. Okay, let's come into that. I'm very, very worried about that scrying eye. So let's get behind this desk. Okay, I'm out of movement with Shadow. Hold on, y'all. There's a lot to think about right now. I feel like I should leave somebody up here to fight up here, too. If I end up... Alright, we'll leave Shadow and Gale last, because they can do the ranged attacks. Come on over here, Karlak. Okay, let's dash the spider out of here. Close this door. Have the spider close the door. <laughs> the spider doesn't want to close the door. Not enough movement.
Definitely want to turn off the lights in here. Okay, the scrying eye is going that way. Oh, this would be amazing if I could take these. I wonder if I would... Okay, hold on. Nice. This must be Catherick Thorm's room right here. It must be. Four guards outside of it, and Marcus is standing in the hallway. Hitting F5 again. Could do Blessing of the Trickster and actually get down the entire team. I'm a little bit worried that when I do that jump, I'm going to fail the stealth check. His gal actually has to go in it because it's... Okay, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Or pass without a trace. The problem is it uses up a... Oh, I should have done that before with the entire team up here. Maybe I can actually get a jump off. Hold on. I think I can do this without having to set off a stealth check. Possibly. I only live once. Wow. I did do a stealth check though. Holy crap. This is freaking nuts. Okay, now all we have left is Gale. I mean, he's got a good dexterity. I should have... Damn it, I should have done Blessing of the Trickster before I left her. Everybody's made it so far. There's no reason why Gal can't make it too. Right? Here we go. Three, two, one. Yes! Oh my god. Okay, get in the room. Get in the damn room and close the door. Holy crap. Woo! Okay. F5 again. And let's see what we're going to do now. I feel like I actually don't mind starting to pick off some of these targets. Worried about the entire tower being alerted, though. I think what we have to do first is take care of the scrying eye, if possible. What do you got? 8 HP. Could actually exit turn base mode. A little bit nervous about him turning around though. 8 HP, so hold on. We can take this thing out in one... in one attack. Don't want to think about why my eye is itching. Hmm. A little bit nervous that it's going to turn around on its turn. I'm kind of in a bad position. Well, here goes nothing. The cocoon ability. Actually, we'll move Gal over here. I'm a little bit worried that what's his name might also be triggered too. Okay, here we go. We'll see what the scrying eye does. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. 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 Holy crap. Oh no. The Lance board is set. Shadowheart's still in stealth. Oh damn it. Tried to get her out of the shadows. Battle of wits. Wanna move Gal right here? Try to take care of the scrying eye right away. Torment. Okay, nice. No more reinforcements other than what it already called. I think. And now we gotta take care of Gloric here. 16 con. No resistances or anything. Okay. Kakuna creature. Can't move or take actions. 
ends if a creature ends up taking damage. I don't think I even need that right now. Awesome. We're gonna let Shadowheart or uh, Karlak tank this. Absolutely gonna let Karlak tank this. Awesome. Only has 12 HP. Could be done with this guy right now. I want to use a spell slot though in an area where we can't long rest. Gonna save my spell slots. Okay. Mission successful. Zrel's personal reminder. So Zrel was the disciple at the front door. Or at the at the bridge in the front. Belthazar has sent neither word nor notice. Wherever he's gone is a mystery. Needs someone to investigate his chambers, but no doubt he's rigged the thing to high hells. Okay. Alright. Well, we do have the key to his room. I wonder if this is it right here. Oh my gosh, look at this invasion plans for Baldur's Gate. Time to press ahead. This is, uh... This is quite the session so far. Literally inside Moonrise Towers. I think we have a two... Ooh. I wonder if I could take them out real fast. I'm worried about getting into too much combat because we can't long rest. I need my spell slots for Ketheric Thorm. I'm assuming we're going to end up fighting him. Gortash, the tone of your recent letter is inappropriate. You may follow the Lord of Tyranny. No way. But I do not answer to him or to you. Wow. Lord of Tyranny is Bane, one of the dead three. Bane, Ball, and Merkel. It isn't the fault of any of the Chosen that the artifact has gone astray. Unforeseen events occurred, as they always do. I acknowledge your planning mastery and brilliance of mind, but you lack the depth of experience that brings patience and composure. The artifact will be found. Our enemies will be thwarted. We will prevail. Now show us that you're reliable as well as brilliant. General Ketherick Thorm. That's an interesting letter right there. I want to actually pick it up if I can. Deal. Map of Baldur's Gate depicting the upper city, lower city, and outer city. Arrows show the intended progress of the armies of the Absolute with weak points in the city defenses. Balthazar has sent neither word nor notice. Wherever he's gone is a mystery. Needs someone to investigate his chambers. Okay. Okay, let's click on this door. I'm going to click on it with Shadow. See if it's unlocked. Maybe I have the key. Oh, I do. Is this really Balthazar? Oh my gosh, this is Balthazar's room. Holy crap. Did say it was rigged. So let's go in with resistance on. Assuming we're going to have some perception checks in here. Look at this room. What in the nine hells was Balthazar doing? Balthazar is dead, though. We killed him back on the Shadowfell plane. Long and low. That's curious. Okay. We got a Starion right now.
I did pick up two lockpicks. And I do have that arcane spell called knock that I keep forgetting about. We have a lever right here. Oh, man. Crystalline lens. Alchemical ingredient. reason why I have Karlak going first is, is because he gets advantage on dexterity saving throws from traps. Oh, okay, that brought us right into these two rooms right here, which I could have technically... I could have technically used my knock spell and opened up this door before. I'm assuming it would have worked, and then we would have came in right at this door. But you know what? The way I took was much more intense and much more fun. All right, I got to figure out what these books are. Um, let me read his personal notes real fast. The story is getting crazy. Request from the next caravan. Any works by Mordenkainen? Whoa. Must catch up on the current events. No Volo. Better a century of ignorance. New copy of Swift and Sudden Death for library. Nobody trusts Volo's news or writing. Alright, let's see if I can summon the dead if I come in here. Probably good to get out of stealth mode. Oh, I should have worn better boots. I'm definitely curious to click on one of these bookshelves, but I'm a little bit worried at the same time. Is it going to be a disarm or what is it going to be? There's only one way to find out. I use Karlak. Okay, let's... We tried. Which one did I try? Hold on. Potion of healing recipe. Okay, we tried that one, I think. So let me try this one now. Oh, my God. Okay. Gal is still hidden right here. Oh no, he's in combat. No! Okay, we're still okay. So I tried that one and that one. I wonder if it's just... You're not supposed to use any of those. We do it standing to the side though. Locked. Okay. All right. Well, let's go check out this other room. Or the outdoor balcony out here. I think we're pretty much good, though. All right. Let's continue on. We have a bunch of people below me on the lower level. Whoa. Another scrying eye. Just gotta make sure that I take those out real fast.
I think it's time. Don't want to press our luck too much. I think we want to get to Catherick Thorm as fast as we can. Oh no! Oh, my spider was spotted. Oh crap! Oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay. All right. My character is actually still hidden. Believe it or not. My spider was spotted. Now we're fighting Marcus. Let's do it, baby. Awesome. Guy's got a high AC. You got to be kidding me. All right. Is anybody else coming? I don't see anybody else in combat. So let's go ahead and it's go time. I think we got a rage, right? <laughs> Damn, we're just about gonna assassinate Marcus here. Honestly, it's probably worth using spell slots here, at least using something. So I'm going to use bla Bless. I'm going to bless everybody here. Don't know what this guy is capable of, so I'll save my other spell slot. All right, Gail, what do you got for me? This guy's not resistant to anything. Scroll actually wouldn't be bad right here. Except when it does that. Going after my casters. Ooh. Wow. Oh crap. That a little bit too fast. This ogre's body is in the way right now. I think I got this guy. Didn't even use Hunter's Mark. Slug you down. in that corpse you should take a look shifting corpus gives you invisibility and blur and a great club half plate Visibility lasts for 10 turns, so we can't walk around the entire place with it. Alright, so... Let's see. Um, I can take short rests in here. Tempted to do a quick one. I'll feel that one later. Definitely... Save this. We'll say Marcus dead. And I think we're going to push on towards Catherick's room, if that's actually his room, which I think it is. We do have invisibility, though. I could go out there, scope things out for a minute. Let's take a quick look. Let's use invisibility. I'll take this way. Not sure if enemies can hear you in this game. Oh, wow. I can get behind. I actually get behind all these creatures. We have another true soul there. Mistress of souls. Just have a quick peek over here. 
Got about 40 seconds left of invisibility working. Oh man, I wonder if we take out Catherick. Okay, here's the front door. Wow. Okay. Go back up. Just worried that enforcements might... Um... Like, should I wipe out the entire building first? I think as long as there's not a scrying eye up here, which there is one in the middle. And I'm worried about... Just don't know how to get there without lockpicking. Okay, let me try this. Actually, we're going to want to leave Shadowheart back here. Take Karlak and my character. Don't mind me. Test it out with a spider, actually. Seems to work fine. Light on my feet. Don't be shy. Okay, and we'll leave Shadow behind this door, and also Gale over here. Let's get this party started. You know, I should have actually went after the true soul. Crap. Nice. We'll have two rage charges left. Damn, that true soul would almost be dead. And still get the true soul, though. Okay, plenty of plenty of spells. We might as well use Hunter's Mark. I'm gonna save Cleave. getting worried that I'm not going to have rage. I'm also going to save the rage. Nice. True soul's dead. Let's go, baby. See what they can do. Awesome. This is my happy place. Didn't take any damage. Let's go. Ooh, look at this. Merkel Light Scourge. The Merkel is also one of the dead three. The Necromancer deity. Or should I say, Demi. Quasi deity at this point. Seems like Catherick Thorm supports Merkel or works for Merkel. While that Gortash character works for Bane. 
So the only other god in the Dead 3 that we haven't found anything out yet about would be Baal, who of course has heavy ties to the original Baldur's Gate games. So we gotta figure out uh, where Baal fits into all of this. Alright, so this is a one-handed weapon. Okay, we're gonna hang on to it. It gives 1d6 necrotic damage. That's crazy. That's actually really powerful. Couldn't use it with Shadowheart, but she has the legendary Shars Spear on right now. So we're going to keep that. All right, well, um, I'm going to click on this ornate door. And I think we're looking pretty good. Everybody's got their spells active. Let's see if this is Catherick Thorm. to me you did this to yourself a pawn cannot lecture the chosen of the gods you serve the absolute you serve me bow you dog Here we go. And J.K. Simmons is the voice actor for Cuthric Thorm. Sounds phenomenal. All right, we got Necromites. We got Cuthric Thorm with 145 HP. He apparently was not able to be killed before, but since Shadow shoved that spear through the Night Song's chest, Cuthric can now die. Aura of Protection. Oh, he's a Paladin. Plus five in saving throws. Paladin and any nearby fiends and undead deal an additional five bludgeoning damage. Okay. Okay, and then we got Sustera down here. And also the Squire. Look at the Warhound. Oh, this is going to be an epic battle. And the music is just top-notch. Okay, let's send Karlak up first. I think I should maybe go after... Oh, man, I don't know. Do we just go all in on Cuthric Thorm? Possibly. Maybe I should take out this True Soul first. Let's do that. Nice, we got teleport too. That's gonna get me right up to Catherick. Great start. to get my animal companion to pull some aggro. Okay, Mr. Gal, what do you got for us? Are we going to focus all in? Man, I wish I had some something for all these characters over here. I do have something. It's called Fireball. This might be the time, actually, to use it right now. They don't have fire resistance. We get three of them. Let's do it. Okay, and then we will back him up. Oh great, the dog jumps. Bone chilled. Cannot regain hit points, okay. That's how you want to play, Catherick? How you want to play, my man? Just 
a little bit short here. I think what I'm going to do, actually, though, is I'm going to move right up with Carlac. Actually. Yeah, we're going to move right up here. Should really do mirror image. First. Oh, man, the choices, the choices, the choices. Oh my god, what is that? Okay, this guy, reach from beyond. File a target with Merkel's decaying magic and chill them. I'm not going to use counterspell on that. Better to use counterspell on... Something Catherine casts or something like that. Not the little skeletons. Nice. Oh my god. Okay, there goes the Guardian of Faith. What are these things doing? An egg like shell of spiny bones and rotting feathers. Necromatic energy oozes from within. Skeletal will explode on its next turn, dealing 6 to 27 necrotic damage. And birthing a necromite? Holy crap. Wonder if I'm able to take that out right now, or if it's going to explode on me. Okay. Another one up here, though. Hmm. Okay, we got Catherick right here. Oh, this is going to be great. Nice. Okay, spiritual weapon, my friend. I guess you might as well work on the Necromites. Why not? These guys are all casters, so casting web on them doesn't do as much. Nice. I cocooned the dog. The dog can't do anything now. Perfect. Okay, and shh. Harlac, let's get you right here. Actually, let me get you right here. Ah, oh, never mind. Wow. Which you know. Okay, Mr. Gale, what else you got for me, my friend? Oh, I forgot that she was alive. I thought I killed her for some reason. Should definitely finish her off right now. Make sure she's not resistant to necrotic damage. Nope, we're good. Come on, Shadow. Seriously? Yeah, we're not concentrating on anything yet, but I wanted to use Spirit Guardians. I should have used it that turn. Infinity. 
Misty step. Nah, we're not going to react to that. Oh, damn, man. That's when I thought I was doing good. That'd be orders. Soldiers. And Karlak went down. What is deadly orders? In fact, the entity was ordered to attack a specific enemy. All right, Catherick, it's time for you to die. My lord beckons me. You have no idea what you're meddling with. You're a pawn, a slave, to forces you cannot comprehend. I am the Chosen, and you are nothing. Follow. See. How can such a thing be possible? What the hell was that? We did battle with Ketherick Thorn before we could defeat him. We were interrupted by a giant tentacle that carried Ketherick away. Okay. I'm kind of happy that he went away. Harlak just died. All the skeletons are right over here. I'm coming, Carlac. Don't you worry. Forgot about Wall of Fire. Didn't really need it that fight though. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. I forgot about the dog. I, I, damn it, I just took the dog out of the cocoon state. This isn't over yet, I gotta be careful. I gotta be real careful. Oh, so Stara is still up here. Keep forgetting that she's around. Thought I killed her like 10 minutes ago. Everybody camouflages into the environment here. Beautiful. Of tempest I will raise. Still have a ton of spell slots too.
Only one left. Have to keep going. The dog and the skeleton. go well that was crazy that was a really fun fight after it got away well no choice but to follow oh man we need to follow him okay apparently he's still here in this castle For some reason I thought I just assumed he was teleported to Baldur's Gate <laughs> I thought we were done fighting him, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Would have saved a few more spell slots. All right, let's go ahead and do a short rest. We're going to do Arcane Recovery. And we're going to use Carlax, Bolstering Magic, to bring back a level 2 spell for Shadow Heart. really like having a Wild Magic Barb in my group. And we can do it for level one, too. And we'll do that for... Also do that for Shadow. Let's pop a short rest. Oh, I already did. No one stop me yet. We have a note from Gortash over here. I wonder if we're going to have to fight that tentacle beast. Okay, just a note to say I was alarmed to learn that your strike teams have not yet recovered the artifact. The Githyanki appear to be after it as well. I'll have more to say about this when the time allows, but it's essential that your troops do not allow that object to slip between their fingers. Looking ahead. Okay. We just make sure there's no good loot up here. There is, of course. Almost missed the most important chest in the room. Ring of Exalted Marrow. Exhort the Risen, Ghoulish Touch. Subjugate the undead with your commands. This is going to be really good to put on Gale, my necromancer wizard. And ghoulish touch. Lash out with deadly claws and possibly paralyze the target. That is so cool. Alright, let's pick that up. What do we have on right now? When a foe fails a saving throw against one of your spells, they gain mental fatigue. Or snowburst. When the wearer deals cold damage. Yeah, we don't need that. Ghoulish touch. Keep forgetting, we have this Netherese orb blast right here. Gal triggers the Netherese orb in his chest, destroying everything and everyone. <laughs> it's literally game over, I think, if you hit that. Not going to test it out, though. Happy that Larian let us rest after that. nothing I think I'll keep my spider I like the spider in this fight you peer down the hole left by the tentacle that drew Ketherick into the darkness will you leap after him absolutely the hole yawns back at you impossibly wide a single tentacle burrowed through stone you don't actually want to jump do you
Of course I do. This is an illithid colony. This must be where they harvest the tadpoles. We're close to the source of the infections. All of this sitting beneath moonlight. Are you serious? How deep does it go? Dude, we're in an illithid colony right now? We pursued Cuthric beneath the tower and found ourselves in what appears to be a mind flare colony. This is actually insane. Feels like we're back on the Nautiloid ship. Tread carefully. We are very close to the source of the Absolute now. That telepathic storm has become a tempest. Seems they think we're allies. I've got a long road ahead. It looks like Catherick's over to the la oh the the Blade of Frontiers rescues Ariel's asset from Moonrise Towers. Oh wow, that's I forgot about that. That quest that Will was given that he needs to do, it's part of his pact. I think we can do it without him in our actual group. I'm fine with that, because we're gonna play through this game several times. It'll probably be, be slightly different with Will around, of course. Bad? No, never mind. Dude, this is crazy. Look at these helms right here. Oh my god. <sighs> that is crazy. I'm gonna pick up a couple of them. I think they're heavy armor, so I don't know if Arlac, maybe they're medium armor. Yeah, I think now we're ready. Hell yeah. And actually, Shadow can wear one too. But she's got the Dark Justice Your Helm on, so we're gonna leave that. What the hell? Oh! What is that guy doing? You got a problem, buddy? Come here. No will sparks behind his eyes. His mind has been hollowed out to better echo the commands of the collective. You could kill it, end its miserable life of enslavement. Surely that would be the humane thing to do. You could take advantage of its vulnerability and plunder what's left of its hollow mind for anything that could serve you. What is this place? No, sorry. Here. Yeah. They become. Become what? Part of one mind. Four little feet. Dancing to sing song. With a lurch, you realize he means the intellect devourers. Here, the brains are harvested, made part of the hive mind. I need to find your master, Catherick. Master. Ma Down deep. One of three. One. What did you do to all these people? Chop, chop. Help them. Become. 
Why don't I send you to join all these creatures you butchered? <sighs> yes. Yes. Please. Wow, that's kind of sad. I think it's the right thing to do. You sort of fight. We have to put him down. End his misery. Not for long. Oh, damn. There's a uh, holy crap. Intellect of ours everywhere. Wow. Okay. Didn't expect that. Not worried about it. Did the right thing. Try not to use any spell slots, though. Whoa! Seriously? Didn't notice like all the brains that were in this area. It's crazy. I got you, Chop. It'll be a better life in the afterlife. There we go. If you have two targets, it works right away. Perfect. Really what I was thinking about when I killed Chop, but honestly, I think we did Chop a favor right there. No, this is not a good place, so less enemies that are going to come from behind when we're attacking Ethric, the better. My characters are on edge right now, that's for sure. Discern, faithful. We what the hell? Okay, let's go back and see if we can help out. We do like Will. He's an interesting character. I just didn't want a warlock in my party. Why well, I haven't been running with him too much. Not on this run. But we are going to help his character out. We do think he's a good person. So let's see what's going on. Dude, freaking. Visuals are insane. I actually remember this. This was a screenshot that Larian released. Mind flayers and civilians, side by side. This must be where they infect and transform those they kidnap. Look, there's a mind flayer in there. One of these pods must have... We reach Moonrise Towers. It seems unlikely that a high-value asset like Grand Duke Ravenguard would be confined with other prisoners. The deeper we delve into the towers, the closer we'll be to finding him. We should search the area thoroughly. The devil that Mazora asked us to rescue must be ready nearby. We may actually find Elder, Elder Ravenguard 
and the devil that Mazora wants us to rescue. Keep in mind, we don't want to rescue the devil, but if we don't, it could negatively affect Will. Brine pools, but empty of tadpoles. Unusual. That pod. Harvesting all the larvae inside? indicates they are getting ready for something big. What the heck? By Grazit's cock, it's about time you came. Mazora? You're the devil you sent Will to rescue? I thought you'd have figured it out by now. Now, enough sniffing around and get me out of this thing. Mazora's life rests in your hands. Perhaps you could end Will's pact here and now. Let's try a history check first. Remember all you can about devils and their contracts. 16 will take bolstering magic. I'm going to save bolstering magic. Oh no, never mind. You recall an old incantation from a children's story said to void a devil's contract. Abbe Diabole et Numquam Redi. Abi Diabole at Nunquam Ready. <laughs> Not very nice. I'll be damned. You want to free the pup from his pact. And you thought that idiotic display would do it. Bravo. Fine. I'll play your game. But I amend the pack. Clause F, Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearers' fulfillment of related obligation. Now, open the pod. Your eyes turn to the control panel next to the pod. It has two devices marked with lithid symbols. The controls are open to your tadpole's command, to your authority. Gather your strength and smash your foot through the pod. Don't know if we made the right decision. Good work. I'd give you a gold star, but I'm fresh out. As for the pact, <coughs> Clause Z, Section 13. If the soul binder consents to separation, she will release the soul bearer from all obligation within six months. Oh, six months is a trifle. You barely read through a single bookcase in Candlekeep in such a time. Ignorant thing. It's always the terms and conditions that get you. <laughs> we can shrug. Six months isn't that long of a wait. To the hells with your conditions, Mizora. Sever Will's pact now, or I'll sever your head. Not going to happen, but I do like your spunk. Right. I'm out of here. I need a long bath. I'll leave you to your very serious business. But don't you fret. If you survive this place, I'll find you. The pup will be needing me. Count on it. Oh, and ask Will how we met. I've loosened his tongue. It's real cracker of a tale. <laughs> Ta-ta. Okay, I mean, we made progress for Will. 
six months, he's free. <laughs> Zariel's asset turned out to be Mizora herself. In return for our help, she promised to release Will from his pack, but only after six months had passed. She disappeared again, but not before promising she'd find us again soon enough. Oh man. Bring death. Embrace death. Become death. You are the sacred hand that reaches from the grave. You are the lasher of skulls, the carver of crypts, the dancer of bones. Walk in dusk and shadow. Walk. about to get interesting. Every General Thorne was attacked. The order to evacuate given. You should not be here. I conclude you are one of the attackers. This is a misunderstanding. I was sent to support you with the eradication of these traitors. your bones to General Thorne as retribution for what you did to him. Okay, fair enough. No. Oh my god, fireball. Um, wow, even on her own people, unless she's evocation. I wonder if she's doing it. Level three. Okay, nice. That was, uh, that was close. I gotta put somebody on her immediately. Oh, he's got shield. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have used Cocoon because Spirit Guardians would get them out of it. <laughs> Oh man, 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 man. I need to be a little bit more careful. I don't have to go as close to them when I'm using Spirit Guardians. <laughs> That's amazing. If we can get up here quick enough, <sighs> have spare guardians active the spot. for whatever's next. What the heck is this? No time to rest. Three turns left on spare guardians. True souls have passed through this place. What is going on? A fleet of nautiloids. In the lore, nautiloid ships haven't even been around for a very, very long time. And now we have a fleet of them. Hunter Moonrise Towers. Evacuate. Well, I don't know why that got so loud. in your mind builds to a roar. We've found it. The Absolute is behind this door. Duke Ravengard. You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Motherfucker! Gortash! Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick-wet carrion. 
You forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You've built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue, true soul, flaunting it under your nose all this time, and you ran from him. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. <sighs> so you haven't lost your edge. But you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Baldur's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane! The Last of Thor! It's an Elder Brain? Powerful creatures in existence, enslaved by mere mortals. Look at that crown. It radiates with power unlike anything I've ever seen. To have it. To hold. Oh, if only I could. But I can't. This is it. I must do as Mistra commands. Gale, you cannot do this. You can't condemn us to death. What choice do I have? More than just a goddess counts of my courage, whole worlds hang in the balance. Trust me, Gale. We'll find another way. I do trust you. More than myself right now. Perhaps even more than Mistra. I... I have no desire to end your life, you know that. To end it? To struggle on? It is a grave choice you're making for us both. But if it must be so... Very well. I'll stand down to stand by you. Good thing we have a high approval with Gale. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guests. Behold, Duke Ravenguard, the Absolute. Who'll preserve us? You wag your word flap in vain, Alderling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. They want control of the city. Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. It is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. We go to prepare the way. Holy shit. 
I have to breathe for a second. That was incredible. So much was just revealed to us, too. So the three people in that vision were Catherick Thorm, who's in front of us right now, who fights for Merkel. Orin, who is a servant of Baal. And then Gortash, who is a servant of Bane, the Lord of Tyranny. And together they make up the dead three. They are controlling an elder brain. Insanely powerful aberration creature that controls entire mind flayer colonies. Every mind flayer, most mind flayers, are connected back to an elder brain and they're doing the bidding for an elder brain. And they have one under their command and they're about to attack the city. And clearly here, we can see Isabel from the Last Light Inn. And they awoken Catherick's daughter, which I'm assuming is Isabel now. And back in the mausoleum, where that sarcophagus was, the open crypt, I think that must have been, must have been Isabel? Before we went down into the Gauntlet of Shar. We found Catherick along with a ballist named Orin and a Bayknight called Gortash. They brandished a tree out of magical stones that seemed to give them control over an illithid elder brain. Orin and Gortash have taken the brain to Baldur's Gate aboard a Nautiloid, leaving Catherick to face us. Grand Duke Ravengar was infected with a lithid tadpole and taken to Baldur's Gate. I'll remember that because when we get to the city, he might not be himself. I just want to let you all know that I did experience my first EPK on this run, and it was in this encounter right here. So this is my second time coming into it. This is a really, really crazy, crazy encounter, and you guys will see here shortly. I don't want to spoil it, but I did end up wiping. Never wanted the easy path. And we're back at the beginning. So we have Cuthric, and also, assuming his daughter Isabel, who seems to be under his influence. But I will say that I did try killing Catherick first to see if Isabel would snap out of it, and it didn't seem to do anything. So on this run, we're killing everyone. Made a couple mistakes that really cost me. Oh, my helm seems to be glitching out. Let's go ahead and take it and I'll hide it. I think I actually prefer the other helm that protects against critical hits. Constitution saves. I guess I don't have one. Did they change those helms? Let's stick with that one. Alright, so I'm going to put my casters. I'm going to put Gale up here, I think. Actually, I'm going to leave everybody over on this ledge this time. kind of spread out a little bit. I'm going to take Carlac and Wolf, and we're going to send them front line. Get my spider up here. Can't get up there, buddy? Alright, come this way. Come on. He's stuck. You're going to leave the spider right there. Oh, the spider. Spider right there. Put one of the zombies right up against one of these guys. Put the other zombie up against that one. And Shadowheart. Let's, uh... I'm actually going to bring Shadow with my frontliners. You'll see why here soon. I only have Gale back here with the skeletons. Gale and his zombies. I think that's actually fine. And actually, going through the line of sight right here, the cone doesn't start anything. Okay. Best be on my way. I'm going to leave Shadow right here. 
I know it's on the low ground, but I need to have her close to this middle area. Oh, here we go. Okay, hiding failed. I guess we just walk right up. Come here, Cuthric. Come here, buddy. There, you there we are. go. As predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. Why is the prism so important to you? The very fact of your being attests to its power. Despite your infection, you resisted the brain here in the heart of its domain. What good is an army of thralls if they do not obey their master? Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired, the one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned. Her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute, and then take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. You are planning on betraying your allies? Yes. Say farewell, Isabel. I'm grateful to you for bringing me home. I was a fool to resist. I know better now. Good luck in the City of Judgment. I wish you the best. Sincerely. My lord, I offer you these souls so they may return as servants to your cause. Join the army of the dead, true soul. Witness Lord Merkel's glory. Here we go. Okay, luckily Gal's not in combat. Um, I actually might cast... Let's see, haste is level three. Oh, is Gal in combat right now? No, he's not. Um, let's see, let's go ahead and unprepare. We'll keep shield. Unprepare featherfall. I'm gonna grab haste. I wonder if I'm actually able to cast haste without being put into combat. It lasts for 10 turns. But what I could do here... Start off with haste. Okay, he's in combat. You know, I'm actually okay with that. That's fine. Oh, Shadowheart was in the line of sight too. She's in combat now too. That's okay. I don't mind her being down there. Catherick needs to go down immediately. Just trust me on that. Just trust me. That is ridiculous. Focus your attack, soldiers. Absolutely ridiculous. Carlac's almost dead right now. Alright, so I wanted to put her up here. 
Let's do Guardian of Faith. Actually miscasted that. I wish I put it over here so I could still do Fireball with Gale. But it is what it is. Okay, perfect. Not perfect, but good enough. Not today, Isabel. Not today. She says, Moon Maiden, aid me. I don't know if the Moon Maiden's helping you out when you're down here. Oh, man, the Mind Flayer went to shadow. Nice! Got lucky right there. All right, Cutthroat first. Here we go. But actually, now that I think about it, maybe I don't want to do Ketherick first. Problem is, he does so much damage. Alright. Wolf, let's see what you got. Yeah, I'm going to take out Ketherick first. He can basically one-shot all of my characters, so... Can't actually get to him though. Without taking an opportunity attack. This would be amazing if it worked. Yes! Oh my god. <gasps> you have no idea how much that helps me. Alright. Oh wait, what the heck? Why is he back? What what just happened? D am I seeing things? I swear to God, I just pushed... <laughs> Got the wreck is one shot right now. Okay, we can kill Cuthric now. Um, let's go ahead and do our first attack on the Mind Flare. Probably... I need a heal really bad. Are you kidding me? He still has one HP? No way. Could push him. Let me try this again. Wow. So don't push into this hole right here. You know, last time I was playing, I actually did push the Mind Flayer over here, or in my previous attempt, and he did die. All right, Mr. Gale. Get you right over here. Cuthric only has one HP, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a magic missile. Level two. Do one on Cuthric and the rest on the Mind Flare. What a fool you are. You cannot kill me. I am eternal. Merkel, Lord of Bones, I am here. I am ready. I am yours.
How insane is that? By Mistress Silken Tresses. Yeah, so on my first attempt, I did kill Catherick and most of the people around. But I was on the brink of death, and then the Apostle of Merkel came to visit me. Crazy. Necrotic resistance, cold resistance, and poison resistance. Alright, so. Definitely should probably spread out a little bit. Whose turn is it? Gale, he has his action. Wonder if I should finish off Isabelle first. She got 30 HP. 95% chance I could just take her out right now. Once again, I'm questioning. Maybe if I complete this fight, maybe she'll snap out of it or something. He doesn't snap out of it when you kill Catherick. All right, let's focus in. Focus on the Apostle of Merkel. Five damage. That's great. A little bit worried that his attack here is AOE. It is. Okay. That's a problem. Hit the Mind Flare too, though, surprisingly. Alright, so let's do Healing Word. Take heal, heal. And then I'm also going to do... Spirit Guardians would actually be kind of nice right now. And we're going to walk right up here. We try to stay left a little bit. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, I'm a little bit worried about another AoE attack. So I'm thinking that I might actually just take the opportunity attack and walk over this way. Maybe hit the boss too. Sweet. Go even further. He's healing the brains. A disadvantage down there, a low ground. Sweet. Alright, so we got Karlak right here, so I think I want to get Wolf away over to this side. Don't know if I want to kill these things. We'll do it. And we'll move way over here. Hunter's Mark. Such a cool boss. Basically fighting an avatar of Merkel. Hey, Karlak. I know you're almost dead, so I'm actually going to have you... Oh, wow. Opportunity attack. If only I had an action. I would disengage and go down here and try to heal up. don't think Raging's actually going to do me any good right now. Unless he doesn't attack me. Then I could swap him next. We'll do it. I'm bone chilled right now, can't get any heals. Wow, I got lucky right there. The heck was that? Oh, Spirit Guardians, awesome. Alright, let's um thing is resistance against necrotic damage let's go ahead and I think I'm gonna do mirror image actually and then spiritual weapon good spiritual weapon over here 
take care of that thing that summons the dead. Damn, I used a level four for my counter spell right there. I clicked too fast. Forty-five percent chance of hitting right here. So low. That's crazy. Come on. There we go. Could send the zombies on Isabel here. That was an amazing attack right there. I mean, Isabel's probably already dead. I don't know how it works with her. She was raised from that sarcophagus from the crypt near the, near, near the gauntlet of Shar. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, how many healing potions do I have? You know what I could use? Plus two to attack rolls. I'm bone chilled right now, so I can't actually take a potion. Two misses at 75%. Unbelievable. Definitely want to spread out a little bit, though. I could move Gale back a little bit. Frightened right now. One life to my life. Sustain me. Urkel is controlling this thing. Is he inside that? Can't tell. We'll find out after we kill him. at 70% two misses oh Isabel used turn on dead uh oh that's a problem eighteen HP What if I did this?
mirror image was clutch here. Still bone chilled. Okay, so we don't want to use heals. I made that mistake the first time. How long does bone chilled last? I don't know. Pretty much everybody is bone chilled in this party right now. Hundred percent with disadvantage. Okay, sure. Damn, three of my party members are almost dead right now. Oh, so the bone chilled is like an aura. Yeah, exudes the god of death's unholy will and bone chills all nearby creatures. So if you're close, you just can't get a heal. Oh, what the heck? It went down here. All oh, these things are everywhere. Oh, crap. I better kill this thing fast. There we go. Six HP. Use the animal companion to pick up Carlac. I'm assuming that she can be picked up. Just can't be. Uh, maybe not. Maybe with Bone Chilled, you can't even help companions at all. All right. We have a bunch of level one spell slots left. I'm still like curious. I kind of want to try to keep Isabel alive. She also might kill half my party. I would put her to sleep. Slowly but surely. Here we go. Resistance to necrotic makes me not want to do inflict wounds. Do glyph of warding. Hold on, would that work? I don't know if that would work. I gotta make sure that I don't do it on myself though. I don't think that's possible. Oh, actually it is. Nope, I guess it's not going to work probably because he is levitating. That was worth a try. One more attack. We have taken down the Apostle of Merkel on the second try. Damn it. that yeah I guess you can't be help action doesn't hurt on somebody that's bone chilled all right mr. wizard need 13 damage 
it is possible with a level one magic missile. And I did 12 damage. Whoa! Holy sound effects. Better put this thing down. There's Isabel right there. Wow. What an epic. It's in his armor. Take it. What an epic, epic battle. Incredible. No time to waste. Okay, we got the crew back together. Go ahead and loot his armor. I also leveled up to level 8. I'm assuming that you're probably supposed to be 8 for that fight. We're close. Now we're 8, so that's good. Let's get going. death the body is cooling but energy radiates from the stone remarkable truly and now the picture comes together the absolute is neither god nor man it is the elder brain you saw held here by those three against its will the crown it wears controls it, and these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. To master an elder brain, to subdue it. Our enemies are formidable. What an incredible story. What are these stones? The crown's markings suggest it was forged in Netheril. An ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones, imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. Catherick transformed during the fight. What was that? I believe you fought and defeated an avatar of Merkel, the god of necromancy. A remarkable feat. Catherick was Merkel's chosen. I know Lord Enver Gortash. An arms dealer and a slaver. He is a worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me. But the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. Which means... The Absolute is a front for the gods of death. And our enemies are chosen of the dead three. 
chosen of the dead three? Bane, Baal, and Merkel. The tyrant, the assassin, and the necromancer. They are known to pick from their most devout followers a chosen, granting them incredible powers. Each one alone would be a formidable enemy. But working together and controlling an elder brain, I dare not imagine what they might achieve. How is it you're able to leave the astral prism now? A temporary reprieve, but a welcome one. With a brain on its way to the city, its influence here is weakened. What hope do we have if the gods themselves are involved? Hope is a luxury for those who have a choice. This is the battle of our lives, and the lives of everyone in Faerun. The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an elder brain, brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order, an order the Death God's Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance. I feel like I kind of have to trust the Guardian now. What other choice do we have? Crazy to think that I could have killed the Guardian back a few episodes ago. How different the game might be after a scene like that. Catherex Warhammer. Get 1d4 psychic damage. Reaper's Embrace. Very heavy armor. All incoming damage is reduced by 2. When activated, you can't be moved against your will by any spell or action, but have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. And disadvantage on stealth checks. And you also get Howl of the Dead. Let out a bone chilling howl that numbs all nearby enemies. Movement speed have the spellcaster has advantage on attack rolls against the affected entity. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and put that on our strength based ranger and just accept that we're going to have disadvantage on stealth checks. Then we also have Catherick Shield. You gain a plus one bonus to spell save DC and spell attack rolls, and you get Shield Vash. Let's see what that looks like. First, let me just get rid of a few things. Wow, that is so sick. Oh my god. It looks like we're a worshiper of Merkel, though. How incredible is that? It looks amazing. And then the shield, I could put it on Gale. Because humans are proficient in shields now. It took me like 15 episodes to, to realize that because it wasn't like that in early access. Let's put it on Gale. Let's see. Actually, this would actually work for him because he's he is a necromancer wizard. Wow. So cool. You got the symbol of Merkel on the shield. Yeah, the shield fits perfectly because now we get another necromantic ability. Necromantic? Is that a word? Necrosis ability? Okay, let's do a little bit of looting. And that is going to be it for this episode. One of the most intense, fun sessions that I've had up to now. I feel like it just keeps getting better and better. Moon Devotion Robe. While the wearer has mage armor, each successful saving throw causes the source of the saving throw to take 1d4 radiant damage. That's awesome. I'm actually going to put that on Gale, because I refuse to wear light armor with Gale. I feel like it's just not right. A light armor typically doesn't. Very cool. No one stopped me here. Let's be on my way. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you on episode 16. I think we might be heading to the city. At the very least, the outer districts of the city. And thank you for joining me on this epic adventure. Catch you on the next one.